here remembers Blockbuster Video? I know a lot of y'all have I heard do. about it. For those of y'all who have never been inside a Blockbuster, you go in, they have all your favorite movies, all your favorite video games, and they have candy and popcorn. For anybody that remembers going in as a kid, they will tell you it was a good experience. It just made you feel good. When you hear mom say, we're going to Blockbuster! Your reactions, I was like, no! Whenever they had a new release, it would cover the entire wall, and it was always sold out. Imagine going to Netflix and typing in a show or a movie you want to watch, and Netflix is like, nah, fam. And some of y'all young bloods don't know nothing about that life. But you know what else was awesome about the whole Blockbuster experience? What? When you got your own Blockbuster car. Like, that's a big deal. You're not even supposed to be able to get one until you're 13. But my mom, like, forged the document and, like, made a fake passport for me or something. And got me one before I turned 13. Like, that was a moment in life. My friends would call me after I got my card, like, Dante, let's go play outside. Nah, fam, I'm a man. I'm about to go job hunting. I gotta start doing my taxes. Big mom things. I'm out here making money moves, okay? Come holler at me. And to make matters even worser, my parents started giving me allowance around this time. It was $20 every two weeks. I felt like a millionaire. Like, y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I'd walk the blockbuster like, you like my hair? I just want I just want Harry Potter, Hunger Games, I want it, I got it. So once I had my blockbuster card and allowance, I would just jump on my bike and drive down the Blockbuster because I don't need my mom to drive me no more because I'm a man now. And then one day out of the blue random, they added an anime section. It was only like one tiny little corner, had like 15 movies, but I was shook it. So the first anime I ever rent was Ninja Scroll, right? Take it to the register. The lady looks at the movie and looks at me and she goes, where's your mom? Uh, home, because I'm a man. Hold on one second. She looks at the computer, picks up the phone, and calls her. Hi, ma'am. Um, I'm Stacy so over at the Blockbuster in Metro West. Your son is trying to rent a movie that's PG-13. Oh and he doesn't look 13 to me. So now I'm like, crap. My mom's going to think that I'm over here trying to abuse my power and yes. rent adult movies. I then like I hear a, the girl go, like a porn or something. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. That means yes. That'll be $5.99. Yeah, Yo, my mom is a G. <laughs> so the next weekend comes along, guess where I'm at? At Friday night, Love right back up in the anime you. section. So I walk over, it's the same lady from last week, and I hand her Fist of the North Star, the movie. I just have to call your mother to get permission to rent this really? to you. Are you serious? Yes, man, this is Stacy from the first time time time. Metro West. Your son you like is here trying to rent a movie. It's a Japanimation movie. Japanimation? Oh, okay. 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 Uh, I just have to. Okay. Uh, let me just read you the ratings really quickly. Okay. She's trying to make sure that nudity, adult situation, blood, and violence. Did I mention that it contains a nudity? Uh, do you want me to rent this movie to your son? Yes. Here? Yes. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Blink once for okay, yes, okay, okay, blink man. twice for no. Okay, no, no problem, man. Uh, yeah, oh, sure, okie doke. And I'm here like, mom is the oh MVP. And yo, me and my mom never even talked about this. She just knew what to do. <laughs> and this other time when I'm in the blockbuster, I go over to the video game section. The brand new Star Fox 64 oh, just dropped. Shit. All of them were sold out Did except for one. Again, no. for anybody that's gone to Blockbuster and you've experienced this scenario, you know how happy you, you get when you get the last copy. Oh, really? Grab it, go over to the register, give it to the guy, and he goes, Yo, I've been trying to get my hands on this. You know how hard it is to get your hands on this oh, game? No. <laughs> I can't even get my hands on it, and I work here. When did this copy even get back in here? I've been waiting for it. So I, I give them the money, I rent it, take it home. The oh, graphics were like, right? <laughs> mind blowing. So I take it back to Blockbuster, drop the game off, and about a week later, I'm home, I hear the phone ring, my mom goes and answers it. Mm -hmm. Then she walks in the room like, Blockbuster says you still have their game and you need to bring it back. Oh. Uh, no. no. I returned the game like last week. He said he returned the game last week. They says you did it. Well, I did. My son says he returned the game. That means yeah, he returned did. the game. So fast forward like a month, I think it was. Oh, I'm home. No. I hear the phone ring. My mom answers, and she runs in the room. 
Blockbuster says you still have their game, and, and then I owe them 135 dollars. Yeah. Part of me's happy, late part of me's scared. For anybody that has a parent or parents from Barbados, you know <laughs> that they swing first and ask questions later. So the fact that my mom's asking questions first, I'm very happy about it. Mom, oh I returned the game on time. I swear. He returned the game on time. She's he wouldn't lie about it. Money. Click. Blockbuster kept calling. I pick up the yeah. phone and they'd be like, We know you have the game. <laughs> Election agency after you. And every time they would call, I'm sitting here like, am I crazy? Did I imagine taking it back? And I didn't really take it back, but I was stressing out. There. And when I get stressed out, I break out and get acne. Once I get acne, the chance of me becoming a child model is out the window. I'm not gonna book any gigs if my face is covered in pimples, okay? Then I start thinking, Hold what up. Maybe when I returned it, that clerk swiped it up and took it home and never brought it back. Right. Like two or three months later, Ooh, Blockbuster called. Say you wanted Ma'am, we just wanted to call and let you know that we found the game. Where did you find it? Oh. It doesn't matter where we found it, but we found it. Oh no. I think that was their way of being like, oops, we done no, goofed. So they erased all of our late fees. But please believe, every time I rented from Blockbuster from that day on, I wouldn't just drop it in the drop box. When I'm returning a game, I would walk inside with the game and be like, hey guys, I'm here, la 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 la. <laughs> Oh a little while after this, Netflix started getting popular, and as soon as I heard the premise of Netflix where movies come to you, you. as opposed to you having to go to movies, yeah. I knew that was the beginning of the end for Blockbuster. Yeah. And I don't know if any of y'all know this, but Netflix offered to partner with Blockbuster, and Blockbuster was like, nah. Then Netflix offered to get bought out by Blockbuster, and Blockbuster was like, nah. And, and look what happened. Okay. But we can actually all learn something from Blockbuster because the world around us is changing real fast. Blockbuster was stubborn. Same with cab drivers to Uber drivers. These cab drivers are real stubborn. They have a really bad attitude. Even Uber drivers are about to be obsolete. Uber is developing driverless drones that we can ride around in as we speak. Google it. Traditional media, print. Y'all don't have to attack YouTube. Blockbuster is a great example to teach everybody to not be stubborn and stuck in your ways. Even you sitting there watching this video because the people around you are going to change, your relationships Thank are going to change, and if you're not willing to evolve with some of the challenges that get thrown at you, mm -hmm. you're going to be stubborn and closed-minded, you might end up just like, like Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Moment of silence, pour some out for my dead homies. <laughs>